Hey everyone, welcome to part 4 of Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we will add grass to our scene and write logic to trigger random Pokemon battles when the player walks through the grass. So first, I'll create a new tile map for the long grass. So right click on the grid, grid object and tile map. I'll name this as long grass. I'll set its sorting layer to foreground and let's paint some grass in it. So in the tile palette, select the background palette and I'll paint some grass. Next I'll create a new layer for the grass. I'll name the layer long grass. And assign it to the long grass style map. Next, we need to add colliders to the style map. So I'll add a tile map collider 2D and the composite collider 2D. So in the tile map collider 2D, make sure to check use by composite. And in the composite collider, Change the geometry type to polygons. And finally, change the body type of rigid body to static so that it won't be affected by the gravity. So, if the player walks through the grass for some time, you should trigger a battle with wild Pokemons. So, in the player controller, first I'll create a public variable for the grass layer. So now, at the end of the move coroutine, we will call a function that will handle the battle triggering logic. So I'll call this function check for encounters. And let's create that function. So in this function, first we need to check if the tile to which the player moved was actually a grass tile. So we can do that by using physics 2D overlap circle function, just like we did for our solid objects. So for the position, I will pass the position of the player. The radius will be 0.2. And for the layer, I'll pass the grass layer that we created. So if this is not equal to null, it means the player actually walked on a grass tile. So we don't want to trigger a battle every time the player walks on the grass. We just want to do it like 10% of the time. So for that, I will create a random number between 1 and 100. Note that the second parameter is exclusive which means 101 will not be included and the random number generated will be between 1 and 100. And if this number is less than or equal to 10, we will trigger a battle. So since we haven't created the battle system yet, for now we'll just print encounter a wild Pokemon or something. So to review the code, this is like saying 1 out of 10 times the player walks on a grass, we will trigger a battle. So let's go back to Unity and I'll assign the grass layer in player controller. I'll just bring the player here and make sure x coordinate end with 0.5 and the y coordinate end with 0.8 so that it's slightly above the center of the tile. So let's test the game. So now if we walk on the grass, you can see that the print statement was actually executed. Okay, so we can walk some more and you'll see that when we walk for some time, 
again encounter a wild Pokemon will get printed. Okay, so I'll stop the video here, and in the next video, we will start creating our Pokemons using scriptable objects. So, if you think this video was helpful, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. That will mean a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next video.